Hi, this is my um, Dell Precision M4400. It's a sort of workstation laptop. Had it for about a year. And to be honest, it's been the best laptop I've had. Um, it probably would have been £1,500 when it was new. Because these are sort of high end, as I say, workstation laptops. Um, I bought it for £200. Um, made some modifications. I put a, an SSD drive, a solid state drive in it and I bought a, a drive bay so you can put a second hard drive in it. So it's original 160GB disk is in there so that's just being used as a storage drive and the SSD's obviously got the operating system in it. And when Windows 8 came out I bought the £25 upgrade. I bought two two licenses. One for this laptop and one for my uh, Precision 690 upstairs. Um, I'm actually selling this laptop because I've upgraded to that one which is the one I kind of really wanted in the first place, which is the Precision M6400 but that was too pricey at the time they're pricey now still, sort of five, six hundred pounds but somebody was selling this one for £250 plus £15 postage I managed to get them to knock the postage off and it's just arrived today so I'm just going through the process of keys that are sort of swapping bits over, that's got two 320 gig hard drives. Um, I'm going to swap the solid state drive from that one into that one, but I'm still probably going to end up selling this one with a solid state drive um, and one of the 320 gigabyte drives from the other, other machine in here. Um, I just wanted to show you how lightning fast it is with an SSD. Startup time is pretty. Amazing. Let me get past the BIOS bit. Can be sold with Windows 7 on it though. That's it. <laughs> Start to finish in under five seconds maybe. Even even though the sort of hardware on these things is a bit dated now, they've got core two duo processors in them, the sort of higher end ones. This one's got a 2.6 gigahertz. Um, I can't remember exactly which one it is. Let's have a quick look. See how snappy it is. There's no waiting around at all. Uh, P. 8400 2.26 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo 2 GB of RAM um, and yeah, the C drive, the SSD is 100 GB and the data drive at the moment is 160 GB but I'm going to change that to 320 and there's still the CD drive where the data drive is at the moment these are hot swappable uh, drive bays, so you can just pop out the SSD and slot back the CD drive if you want to watch something or install something. Um, it's got obviously it's got Wi-Fi. It's got all the sort of business ports. It's got eSATA, um, four USB ports. It's got um, VGA on this side. It's got a one of these USB ports will charge. So it is a char charge port as well. And there's um, let's see, a SD card slot, Express cards and on the other side. There's your 
It's another the older kind of express card. I've forgotten the name of it. PC card. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that's where the CD player or the hard drive bay goes. It's a wireless switch, wireless capture. Uh, that's, um, 1394 is the Apple USB Firewire and then audio, two more USB ports, there's a security card slot thing there. Um, and around the back it's just network and power. There's a display port at the back as well. Uh, the battery on this has been fantastic actually. It's not degraded in the slightest since I've got this and it wasn't even new when I got it. Um, I get in excess of two hours sort of internet browsing, sort of general use out of it, and more again since putting this SSD driving because they take a lot less power, and the secondary drive just goes into sleep mode when it's not being accessed anyway. Um, it's a backlit keyboard as well. Just turn that off, and then yeah. That's nice. So this laptop's actually been to Bangladesh with me. I spent five weeks in Bangladesh and the keyboard was very useful there because they have constant uh, power cutouts there so you're often plunged into darkness going and really working off the batteries. Um, it does also have a mobile internet card inside and the slot for this for the SIM card is in the battery bay. Um, not sure yet whether I'm going to keep that. I think it's a 5530 card that's needed for this laptop. Um, but I've had a, a GIF GAF SIM in there and it works fine. And I've had a, a Bangladesh SIM in there and it worked fine, albeit incredibly slowly because their internet, their wireless internet ac access is measured in tens of kilobytes. But it did the job for five weeks in Bangladesh. Back on. That's it really. It's my laptop. For so misses in a way, it's been a very good laptop. As I say, this is the one I kind of wanted in the first place. It's got a hell of a lot more RAM. Um, two built-in hard drive bays and you can do the same thing with the CD drive bay. You can put a third hard drive in there if you want to you buy the adapters on the internet the screen's obviously much bigger the keyboard's backlit again it's got the new alphanumeric keyboard it's got a fingerprint reader which I'll never use and all sorts of other stuff <laughs> and there's the same ports sort of business ports and it's got a slot loading DVD player at the moment that can have 16 gigabytes of RAM if you want it to, it's got 6 at the moment I think that one goes up to 8 and it's got 2 and 2 doesn't sound like a lot but it was the only laptop that I've ever had where even before I put the SSD in having only 2 gigabytes of RAM didn't seem to affect its performance particularly and all other laptops it's kind of um, it's comfortable but you can't have multiple internet browsers, loads of tabs open, and other, other application goes, it runs out of steam on most laptops, but this one just seems to keep on going. So I'll be very impressed with this machine. I'd uh, advise anyone to buy these Dell Precision laptops, because they are, when they were new, they were a fortune. I, I say this one was probably £1,500 worth. You could pay up to 3000 if you wanted a quad-core processor and bigger hard drives, and all the extras. I think they came with SSDs at the time as well. This one probably was 3000 or so when it was new. And the hardware, even today, is, is very competitive with, with the, the latest thing. In terms of what is useful to the average person or useful to me, because I'm, I'm a sort of self-employed IT technician consultant server 2012 consultant kind of thing so yeah you got a lot for your money from these things thank you for watching